Another important cognitive bias is what we call status quo bias, and it's a combination of the endowment effect and loss aversion. So what is the status quo bias? It's a preference for the current state of affairs. The current baseline or status quo is taken as a reference point uh, from which any change from that baseline is perceived as a loss. So let me give you an example of status quo bias. In the neutral version of an explanation to an investor, the investor reads, you are a serious reader of the financial pages, but until recently you have had few funds to invest. That is when you inherited a large sum of money from your great uncle. You are considering different portfolios. Your choices are to invest in a moderate risk company, high risk company, treasury bills, and municipal bonds. Now, with the status quo version, we add to it a status quo position or a reference point. The status quo version would be a significant portion of this portfolio is invested in a moderate risk company. The tax and broker commission's consequences of any change are insignificant. The result is that uh, now uh, we see that the alternative, when we added the status quo version uh, to the explanation, became much more popular, popular when it was designated as the status quo. In the previous uh, neutral version, what we see is that investors would typically uh, just follow their, their preferences and uh, pick one of those three versions based on that. When you add the status quo version to the, uh, to the description, now where everybody is, what the, you're adding a reference point as to where investors are and that's significantly biasing how people make decisions that they don't want to suffer a loss by moving away from the status quo or the reference point. So to review, uh, status quo bias is a preference for the current state of affairs. The current baseline, what we call the status quo, is taken as a reference point from which a reference point is from a point from which we judge whether uh, items are a or decisions represent a gain or a loss. But any typically any move away from that baseline or reference point is perceived as a loss.